Hey, welcome to Dwayne's World. It's me, Dwayne, the Booze and Blogger. What's going on out there? You offended yet today? Now, oh, hold on. I'll fucking get you there. No. Why in the fuck is everybody offended all the time now? I, personally, I can't fucking understand it at all. You can't say shit. You gotta watch what you fucking do. Somebody's always offended. Like, I mean... I've got t-shirts that people fucking read and they'll they'll take offense to it. Like, uh, I don't know which one. My Nashville pussy one. People fucking got offended by it. I don't fucking care. It's rock band, you stupid cunts. Why in the fuck are you worried about it? Or my Daglo abortion shirt that I used to wear. Fucking people will get offended by that just because of the name of the punk rock band. Are you fucking stupid? Really? Does it hurt you? Personally, does it hurt you for me to wear something that I like? No, doesn't fucking bother your life, change your life whatsoever. So quit being so fucking offended. I mean, holy Christ. I get offended by the shitty things that are on TV. You got fucking Love Island, you got The Bachelor, you got The Bachelorette. I get offended by that shit, but you know what? When it comes on TV, I fucking change my fucking channel and I don't have to watch that fucking crap. If you get offended, look away, change the channel, do whatever. Just, we don't fucking care. And yes, I understand the fucking irony of me talking about this here and then you fucking people are going to email me and say, well, Dwayne, you're fucking offended about being offended. And it's like, well, you're putting it on the fucking internet. That's all fucking idea, stupid people. I already fucking get the irony. And then if you don't know what irony means, just look it up in the dictionary. We do have them. Or you can go online to fucking look at them too. I don't know when this thing about getting offended happened, but um, I re like, I mean, so many things have offended people. Fucking the BBC took, what was it, uh... Uh, I Want Your MTV or whatever by Dire Straits. I can't remember the name of the song. Don't fucking email me and tell me the name. I'll fucking probably remember by the end. Where it said, uh, little faggot with the, earring, with the earrings and the makeup in the line. They wanted that taken off. Or I think there was a hip song too that was offensive by, to somebody. I don't fucking get it. Um... If you're offended, change the fucking channel. I did that when I was on the radio... I uh, used to have a radio show. I played uh, a couple songs that people didn't like. Fucking manager complained to me. And it was like, oh, fuck this. I don't need this shit either. Censorship is fucking bullshit no matter which fucking end of the spectrum it is. So we can, you should be able to say what you want. Yes, I fucking understand that I got to take the consequences to what I say. Absolutely get that. But... I shouldn't have to worry about what I say every fucking time I step out in public. It's fucking ridiculous. You got comics getting in trouble for saying fucking shit on stage. You know what? You go to a fucking you go to a fucking club for comedy. You know what? You're probably going to get offended. If you get offended, don't fucking go or get up and leave. That's your fucking prerogative too. Like, don't tell me what I have to get offended by because I don't get offended by fucking or anything. Um, if I hear people use words that I don't like, I'll tell them that I don't really like that word. But, I mean, I'm not going to fucking go crazy on it and fucking post a rant on some. Actually, I might. You never know. People, we're adults. That's it. We're adults. Fucking learn to walk away from something. I fucking can't stand the pussy ass nature of this fucking generation i don't fucking get it we used to say shit that we meant or we didn't mean whatever and then you fucking now if you fucking argue with somebody online and you don't find their point of view they'll call you something like i bet you i have no problem with rainbows but I bet you if I came out and said, I hate fucking rainbows, people are going to start calling me a fucking... 
saying I'm homophobic because that's the LGBTQ fucking logo. Nope. Got no problem with it. Or if I argue with a person of color, they're going to, and they can't beat me or they can't change my opinion, they're going to call me a racist. Or if I get into an argument and call some woman a bitch, they're going to say I hate women. Nope. Don't hate women either. I just don't, I don't see why you get offended or why you fucking automatically go there if I fucking say something. Like, everybody, to everybody, it seems that there's an underlying meaning to things. And you know what? Half the time it comes out of my mouth is fucking forgotten within a fucking hour. Like, I mean, I, I have no control with what comes out of my mouth half time because, well, I don't have that filter, apparently. Quit being offended. Take a breath. Change a channel. Don't look at a person. Walk away. Whatever. Quit being offended. Anyways, this is Dwayne from Dwayne's World. Hope you're having yourselves a great day. I'll see you next week. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm up to 37 now, so keep that fucking number going up, please. And don't be a fucking asshole.